Hey guys, my name is Angit Bharia and welcome back to the channel. Today I am pretty excited about the new feature which has been launched in Premiere Pro 2022. There were a lot of problems that I was facing and I used to spend a lot of time on that one feature which is my favorite one. I'll talk about that also and along with that there are other features which were really important for all of the people who work in Premiere Pro. You know, there was this one time I was actually thinking that I'm gonna move to FCP and I'm not gonna work on Premiere Pro anymore. So I was so frustrated that I was actually thinking to switch but at this right moment Premiere Pro has launched new features and it is the job. Now I don't need to switch to FCP and I'm pretty happy with Premiere Pro because I love this software. It's just that I was facing few issues which I will talk about in this video and what are all those new features. So everything we'll talk about in this video. Now let's start one by one. Let's start with the first and most important one. Now the reason I wanted to switch to FCP because in Premiere Pro when I was editing 4K videos with Sony A7S III 10 bit videos it used to lag a lot and I was seeing a lot of crash. I used to see a create image buffer error even for 8 bit videos like I used to record in 420 also and at the time of export most of the time I was seeing rendering issues so what I used to do is for the rendering basically if it's a 20 minute video I used to export you know two minutes two minutes two minutes like 10 exports and then export the video because I was not able to export like such a long video but with this new feature in Premiere Pro 2022 they have added a support for 10 bit Sony A7S 3 videos or all those 10 bit videos now it's pretty easy like I've been working on this Premiere Pro from last one week I'm actually working on the Kerala series part one. So I was ed editing that video and I didn't see even a single time crash and it's working pretty smooth right now. I am not using any proxy, I'm directly editing 4K videos. I shoot everything in 4K and I edit everything in 4K and with Premiere Pro 2022, they have added the support for both M1 and both for Intel. I work on Windows laptop, I have never worked on Mac. So yeah, this is working pretty smooth for me. If you see any issues with the Premiere Pro 2022, then let me know in the comments. Let's see if any of you guys face, but for me, it's working pretty great and I'm really happy about it. This is the reason I don't need to switch to Mac or, you know, FCP. I'm pretty happy with this, loving it. Now, the second feature is making color grading easy for beginners. So for that, let's go to the Premiere Pro and let me show you. So this is the beta version of Premiere Pro 2022 because this feature is available only in beta version right now. In future, it will be available in the main Premiere Pro as well. But for now, it's available in the beta. So how you can install the beta version is go here, go to the Creative Cloud application and you can see all of the apps here. See Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere Pro. This is the Premiere Pro 2022. Now go to the beta apps here and see Premiere Pro Beta. Just, you know, you have to install it from here. I have already installed, so I'm just gonna open it. So this is the video, now I have to color grade. I can color grade all those things manually. You know, I can change the exposure, highlights, shadows, but there is a new tab here, Auto Tone. And if you will click this, it will do a decent job. And if you're a beginner, you don't need to do much. You can just go ahead with this. So it's easy for you. Let's apply this one. It did a decent job. So see this before, after, before, after. Now with the previous version, this wasn't available and it did a decent job. Now, if I want to change anything, still you can change any slider. Let's say I like a little bit of temperature towards yellow side and tint towards green side. Increase the saturation and see, it looks pretty good. And in the curve section, let's go to the RGB curve. You will now see that if I extend this, this curve will also extend. In the previous version, this wasn't happening and the curve size was small. So they have added this thing. Now, if you will extend, see, it's just amazing. And let's just change hue settings. Let's go to the hue saturation curve. So what I usually like to do is, I like to change the hue a bit for orange side. Yeah, and if I wanna change the greens, let's say, green towards yellow side and it's good to go so see just with the auto tone and just with the one curve and this hue saturation this is looking pretty good see the before and after and this is a log footage so how much time it took just seconds right now let's move on to the next feature which is my favorite one trust me i used to spend a lot of time now with this feature 
just does the job in seconds. So the third feature is remix music. What does it mean? Let's say you have a song of five minutes long and you want to create a B-roll of only 30 seconds. Now what you will do, what I used to do is I used to trim down the songs and used to find the beat and match it accordingly and then use that over a video so that it matches perfectly with the 30 second B-roll. And it used to take a lot of time to finding that exact beat, you know, and then matching it perfectly. Now with the new feature, I can just do the job with one click. Let me show you. So let's go here to the essential sound. Now let me drag the song. So this is the song and this is the B-roll video. And you can see that there is quite a difference between the song length and the video length. So we can just change it. Now, before I do, let me tell you that the song I am using is from Epidemic Sound, which is also the sponsor of this video. Now, it's pretty easy to find songs on Epidemic. They have filtered it according to the genre, according to the mood, according to the theme. And let's say if you select any song, there is one more thing called Find Similar. So you can find all of the similar songs for that. Epidemic Sound also provides sound effects. Let's say if I want to use the whoosh, ambience, wave, weather, any kind of sound effect you will easily able to find on the website and you can use it. Now their subscription model is pretty good. You pay per month subscription and you can use for that month. Now Epidemic Sound has given me one code which will work for three months free for you. Basically whatever you will download in three months you can upload it on YouTube in those three months and your video will be monetized forever. And after three months if you want to continue then you pay per month for unlimited downloads. Also Epidemic Sound has partnered with Adobe so just go here and if you will click essential sound here you can browse many of Epidemic Sound tracks here. And once you select the song, it's just pretty easy. Just drag and drop and done, you get the song. Now, if I want to trim down the song, how do I do that? For that, let's say this is our song. I will go to the essential sound and go to the edit and go to the music. Just select this duration. Now it's just going to analyze the song and then you see this target duration using this you can trim down the song for example it's 3 minutes 17 seconds long and our b-roll video is quite short so what i'll do is i'll just trim down to let's say 40 seconds now see the song it's automatically trimmed down so let me zoom in and you will see all of this cuts here basically that's how premiere pro adjust the beats accordingly and let me play the song for you trust me you won't feel like it's cut you will feel like it's a part of the song so let me just quickly play for you and let me know if you feel any cut so let's just play these are all the cuts did you did you feel any difference i didn't feel like it's I felt like it's a part of the song and you will get the ending as well, see? Wow, it's great. And one more thing is you get the two options here to modify. For example, if you want to increase the cuts in the song, each time you change this edit length option, you will get different version of the song. So let's say if I move the slider towards left side, you will see that here cuts are now increased. And if I move to the right side, you will see that there will be very less cuts. See, only two cuts. Now, if I move to the left side, you will see that there are a lot of cuts and it'll sound different. And then for feature, if you will move towards left, it means that there, are, if there are less instrument in the song, you move towards the left side. And if there are more instruments in the song, you move towards the right side. So that's what it means. Now it's gonna sound different this time.
pretty great man each time you'll get different version and it just does the job in seconds earlier it used to take a lot of time for me to figure out the beats now i don't need to worry it, it's just pretty amazing for instagram reels also if you want to create you know you have five minute song and if you want to create a reel for 30 seconds this is how you can do it and for most of our youtube videos whenever we are creating a vlog we just create b roll videos in between our vlogs for 30 to 40 seconds and with this feature you can do it pretty amazing so just try out this feature and let me know how you like it i just love this feature now let's move on to the next one let's say you have a video and if you want to create a captions earlier you used to write it now it can transcribe for you so it saves a lot of time let me show you what i mean for example this is the video i recently posted and let me give you want to create a caption for this one let me select this in and out point and i'll go to the window and i will go to the text then you see here transcribe sequence let's just hit and transcribe into out point only just click this and just transcribe you know it's going to read the audio and it will write it for you for now i think it works only in english for hindi i don't know how we can do that but here is this let's just listen they are truly breathtaking and i hope that our generations to come also get to experience the beauty of the natural wonders of the world you know whenever i come back to the city after visiting these beautiful places i always miss the surroundings where it's full of greenery where i can hear the sound of the nature and uh, truly appreciate life so there was this one time just few words are different we can just write that manually and once it's done what you do is you can create captions and see you can create the caption layer here as well and let me just create it and now your captions are ready it's done yeah they are truly breathtaking and you can modify this using the window and let's say essential graphics you go to the edit and let me select this now if i just want to change the length let's say if i want to create a background and if i just want to change i can do that increase let's say black it's all done now these were all the new features in premiere pro and i'm pretty happy with all those features so let me know what you think about it and with that said that's it from this video if you like the video then do give this video a thumbs up that really helps boosting the channel and let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of these premiere pro videos or what are the topics you want me to cover and for future videos subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification icon as well that is also really important otherwise youtube won't send you the notification so please hit the bell notification icon and sign up on epidemic sound with my code get 3 month free access and with that said i will see you in the next one till then take care bye bye dhanyawad